Okay, well, it's April 8th today, which is the fifth day of trying to repot at least one tree every day. This is going to be a really quick one. I only have about 10 minutes, so I decided to do a small one here. This is my only oak in a small pot anyway, so I have a few others growing, but they're kind of in amongst some other older soil. Anyways, it's pretty cool. I like it. I want to get it out of this clay pot and into one of these slightly larger pots. Um, I think the roots develop really well in these, you know, low fired pots, clay pots, but they dry out a little too quickly. You can see there's not a lot of roots in the the top of the soil. The acorn's still in there, cool. Um, yeah, these roots are okay, I guess, but they're nothing special. I think either a, a glazed pot or plastic is probably better for, you know, getting really quick, rapid root growth. There's even a little bit of the sand in there. I don't know what that sand was from. Actually, yeah, it was from because this acorn sprouted in one of my original trees that I had brought home from up north in a bunch of sand. So, yeah. There's a bunch of that still packed in around the acorn. I can probably take this off. I don't know what's going on in there. It probably would just contribute to rotting. Yeah, that's what that was. This was kind of wrapped around that part of the tree and I was wondering what that was, but yeah. So, Interesting. That's like the nut or the meat of the nut, the seed. It's all soft. That's what the tree fed off of as it first formed. Anyways, that's interesting. See an acorn like that. But this. I forgot my water over there. Hmm, there's not a lot of roots up there. I don't know what I'm gonna do here, actually. I should probably just get rid of the lower roots in here and then leave everything else to grow. Wow, it's a big lump of lava rock down there. So yeah, I'm gonna have to get rid of all of this. Anyways, that like is just ridiculous. Basically just a couple tap roots that got really big and wound around the bottom of the pot. And then this other one here. I don't wanna risk taking off too much even though now these are pretty ugly here. Maybe I can do something interesting with them, like a root over rock eventually or something. Or an exposed root. I don't know. I'll go grab my water. So yeah, I really like this tree, being the only oak that I have growing and training in a little pot. I'm pretty partial to it. So I think this one, I'm gonna cut off here. And I'll leave that root to grow on for now. Uh, 
doesn't really matter what angle I cut that at because this is gonna all be below the eventual root plane for sure. So there's one of the big ones and this one leave some of this root on so for now it's gonna go to here and this other one can go to roughly the same right there okay that's it it's probably a little too much maybe I can put something in between these roots to at least spread them out a little bit. I think maybe I'll just pop this piece of lava rock in between them and hope for the best. Yeah, <laughs> that'll do for now, I guess. See what happens. That moss isn't looking great, but it's still alive. So I'll keep it and put it in the new planting. So this, yeah, I'm pretty sure there's there is a bud on the end of this little twig. There's a whole bunch of buds that are forming everywhere, so that's really good. And, you know, eventually, if this is kind of the bottom of the root base, it might be pretty cool. Anyways, let's get this planted in here, and... Yeah, I'm gonna need to go fairly deep with that. Not exactly a shallow root system. Happy with that. I'm gonna pretty much pile the soil all the way up to the top. And then later on in the year, once these roots have established, I can take a little bit off of it. Okay, well I finished this just at the right time because I gotta go. bit of water on this. Pop the moss back on. Make sure it's pressed nice and firmly into the soil. Give it a fighting chance to establish itself. Lots of water. Once the moss starts growing, I can pick off any perlite or anything that has made its way on top of it. Okay, well, I gotta go. So that's it for oak number one. I'm really excited to see this one grow this year. I've got high hopes for this tree. I really like it. It was just kind of a volunteer seedling that a squirrel had 
placed within the roots of another one of my trees and yeah and then later on I put it into a, that clay pot and some other squirrels dug it up and chewed it up a couple times and it still survived and it's looking real funky and gnarled up so I'm loving it and as always thanks for watching catch you next time cheers <laughs>